Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope that you are having a great day so far. Um, for today, we have a few things going on, so I'm gonna go through them and then you can go ahead and get to work. So the first thing we're going to do is an activity related to our word parts. So we learned auto, bio, and logi this week, and today you are going to do a little activity with those words. So what you are going to do is on this assignment, you're going to choose one of the word parts that we learned this week. So you can choose auto, you can cho choose bio or logi. You just pick one of the three, okay? And then you will write that word part and its meaning in the first box here. So you will write, um, let's say you pick auto and then you would write self as the meaning or you know, whichever one you pick. So take your word part and then write your meaning down. Next, you are going to find five example words. These have to be words that were not part of our presentation, okay? Um, and I'm going to help you out here on this. You don't have to come up with them on your own. If you go to this website right here that I have linked, you can look up the uh, word that you picked. So let's just say, for example, that you choose auto. So then you scroll through until you find auto. Click on it, and it's going to pull up a bunch of different words that all come from auto. Um, so you can click on a word, and it will provide you with um, something like a, a little bit of a definition. Um, so then you can um, just pick five of those words. Okay, again, they can't be words that we already use, so you can't use autobiography um, or automaton or autocracy, right? Because those are the words that we went over in class. So um, again, pick five words and their definitions, and you will go back to your assignment and list those five words, list their definitions, and then find an image that matches the definition. Um, in order to find the pictures, the easiest thing to do is, in my opinion, use Google search. So I'm going to use um, autobiography because I, that's a word that you can't use because we used it in our um, slideshow and our sample words. So if I was going to use autobiography, which you cannot, but I'm going to use it as an example, I would put autobiography here. A definition, I would put um, writing about one's own, if I can type one's own life. Okay, and then if I wanna find an image, I'm just gonna open up a new tab, and I'm maybe just gonna do autobiography, and do a search, and then uh, just click over onto images and see if I can find an image. So I don't really want just uh, these like texts, right? Um, but this one's kind of cool, right? This little picture, it's like a, got like a family tree coming out of it. So maybe I wanna use that. So I'm gonna click on that. And then all you have to do to get it into your uh, Word document is do a um, right click, which is a two finger click, right? So I'm gonna click with two fingers and I'm going to scroll down here to copy image. I'm gonna click on copy image. Then I'm going to go back into my document, click in the table where I want that to go, and I'm just going to hit Command V to paste it in. And there it is. It pasted it in there just really, really easily for me. You can also save the picture and um, then put it up that way, but I think it's much easier to just copy and paste if you're going from Google Docs. And that works best if you are in Google Chrome. So if you don't normally work in Google Chrome, I really, really strongly encourage you to do so um, just because it does make things like this a lot easier. Okay, so that is your uh, kind of bell work assignment for today. It really shouldn't take you more than maybe five or 10 minutes. Uh, you're gonna just get the words directly from this list and then find the pictures and submit. So once you have completed that, then we are going to go back to our announcement. So we are going to review um, what we've read so far in Most Dangerous Game, which was pages one, or it's not pages one, pages uh, 60 through 63, I want to say. So um, we are going to do a Kahoot um, in class to review that. And if you are able to join our Zoom at 945 for uh, sixth hour, 
or 11.45 for seventh hour, then you will be able to play live with us in our class. Um, if you're not able to join, that's okay. Just look over um, your answers and make sure that you don't have any questions on parts A through E. Once you're done with that, you're gonna take notes. So um, we do have to do a little bit more note taking um, just because this is our first story. So there's kind of a lot that we need to pre um, preload and um, understand before we get going much further. Uh, just like last time, if you click here, you'll get your guided notes and um, it'll have you make a copy of those. And then the video for the notes is right here. I will say these are a little bit longer. I tried to go as quickly as possible, um, but just be prepared. They are a little bit longer than our last ones. Okay. And then the last thing you're going to do today is to continue reading Most Dangerous Game and answering the questions on your assignment. You need to read through question H on page 68. So that means that you will complete question H, not that you will get there and then stop, answer that question, and then you can stop. Um, you don't have to turn in your questions until we are completely done with the whole story. So um, I will go here to the text. So we stopped at letter E on page 63. So you are going to read page 64, which has two questions on it. Then page 65, which is really a half page and no questions. Page 66, which is also kind of a half page with no questions. Page 67, and then just a little bit of page 68, and there's H. So once you've answered H, then you are done for the day. If you want to keep going, you're definitely welcome to, but um, I know that in-person students are not gonna get much further than that. Okay. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a um, call during our question and answer sessions. Those are 1015 to, for seventh hour and 1145 for seventh hour. They did move our lunch shift back to the original time. So we are back to the 1145 time frame for the Zoom call. So I apologize for the confusion there. You can also send me an email send me a message on Canvas, anything that you want uh, to get in touch with me, and I will be happy to help, more than happy to help. So um, if I don't talk to you before then, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful long weekend, and I will talk to you all next week.